Hi, my name is Kyle Houchins. I'm a tech and a trainer for McNeil. And I wanted to share this quick little trick that I came across on tech this week. Somebody was asking about how to align part and I was talking about remap C plane and they were like, what is remap C plane? And I'm like, that is a really old command, but I'm always surprised at how few people actually know it exists or how to use it. And what remap C plane allows you to do is very quickly take something like this part, which is skewed to the world C plane. You can see that it's not aligned to any C plane and align it to a C plane very, very quickly. And on an object like this, we've got a couple of benefits. First of all, the challenge is that there's nothing square on this. There's no square parts on this anywhere. If we had a square part, it would be very easy to pick corners and align things. But on this part, because it's round, we actually have some information that we can pull from it. If we turn on the snaps down here, and I have mine disabled because I use the Alt key to turn them on and off. But if we place some points here, you don't have to place the points, but what I'm doing is I just want to show you where this stuff is. There's a center point, and then if we have make sure that we have on our O snaps, we have a quad snap on, we can find quads by rolling around here. There's one, and then we can find another one somewhere over in here. There's a midpoint actually that'll work as a as a quad. Or we can look over here. There's probably a quad over here somewhere. Or maybe down here, there's one. And we can find, I think I'll use this midpoint over here. We can use these O-snap locations on this. And if I go to wireframe, you can see it a little bit better to figure out kind of how to align this stuff. Now, there's, in, in version 8, the new thing about version 8 is auto C-planes. And so if I go to shaded mode and I turn auto C-plane on and I control shift click a face, you'll see that the C-plane just sticks to that face. And conveniently, this is actually aligning to the center point and to the quads on this. Now, we can go ahead and roll with that. That actually is quite useful. And so for this demonstration, we could actually use this as the first part of the, of the thing. But I'm going to turn it off and show you how to do it manually, and then we'll go back and do it automatically later. The one thing to keep in mind, there's a sticky autoplane, sticky autoplane C-plane setting in here that we're going to use later. If I forget to talk about it later, that's where it is. The first thing that we're going to do is come up here and go to a C plane. And we're going to actually, in the perspective window, we're going to set a C plane by three points. And the origin is going to be the first one. This is going to be the second one. And that is going to be the third one. And that's going to orient the C plane, if I go to wireframe, you can see it better, to that location and then and my midpoint here apparently is not quite on the quad the quad is actually up there that's fine it's it, it works fine just like that and so we've got the seaplane oriented to this thing and you can see that in perspective view like our new custom seaplane is aligned with this object and if i come over here to a four view setup and this is important to make the tool work you can see that this is still Actually, in world space, this is our custom C plane. That's why it looks right. But this is in world space, X, Y, Z. It's still skewed off here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this window is active. And you can tell it's active because this, this perspective label is highlighted. And we're going to run remap C plane. And it's going to say sec select object to remap. And it's going to be this one. And we're going to say enter when done. And then it says click in a viewport with the target C plane. This is actually the target C plane. So actually, I want to come over here and I want to click here. And you'll see what happens is it took the C plane information from this and it mapped it over to here. Now, this is still a custom C plane. This is why it looks wrong. So if I come up here and I say set C plane world top, look at that. It's now oriented XYZ super, super easily. Now, there's a, the, that's like the old tried and true method. In version eight, with the addition of auto C planes, let me undo that and we'll go back. We'll go back to this view here. And I'm going to go to shaded view and I'm going to turn auto C plane on. And I'm going to make sure that sticky auto C plane is enabled because that's important. Because if we click off the part, 
you'll lose the C plane. So I'm going to just control shift click or on a Mac, you would command shift click the center object here. And you'll see that the C plane auto aligns to that object and it actually aligns in kind of a useful way. And if we go to wireframe, you can see what's going on there. And it aligns in a way that actually is, is pretty useful because it's flat to the C plane. You can see that and it's centered. The origin is right at the center and all that kind of stuff. So even if it's not oriented, you know, perfectly, like say this wanted to be over here, rotated or whatever, once we do this and it's aligned, then you can use Gumball to move the thing around and it'll be oriented correctly. So we're going to leave that here with that auto C plane enabled. I want to make sure that this window is enabled. So if I just pan around in it, make sure that that one's enabled. Remap C plane. Click in this. Actually, I want to get out of, got a selection made there. So run remap C plane, select the object, hit enter, target, and it jumps to the world top. And then if I shut auto C plane off and go back to world top, you can see that this is now oriented correctly, XYZ world top. Now, because that's oriented correctly, you know, it's close to the origin. So if I wanted to move it, you know, I could, I could snap that to the grid or whatever I wanted to do, but it's, it's oriented in a way that it makes it easy now to spin this around or, or orient it or whatever. So this works with meshes. This works with any, basically any Rhino object that you, you would want to work with. And it's a really easy, really wonderful, really powerful trick to orient things really quickly using the new auto seaplane in Rhino 8, or if you don't have Rhino 8, you don't need it. You just need to use the seaplane tools up here, and three-point seaplane is the one that I use most often. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you today. Hope you enjoy. My name is Kyle Houchins of Tech Trainer for McNeil. Go make great stuff. Thanks. Bye.